You all have fun? So I guess everybody realizes um, that Richard Feynman was an unusually broad scientist, so the concept for today's program is if we could bring Feynman back for a day, how would we bring him up to speed on what's been happening for 30 years and give him a taste of the science to come? We only had a day, but he was a quick study, so it, it seemed plausible. But to pull that off, we had to have the right slate of speakers, and I think you can agree with me that all the speakers at today's program and also last evening rose to the occasion and were truly inspirational, so let's thank all our speakers. And you can't put it on an event like this without a lot of help, so there are a lot of people that, to thank, beginning with our sponsors, the Moore Foundation and the Kavli Foundation, as well as uh, the Caltech Division of Physics, Math, and Astronomy, the Office of the President, the Kavli Nanoscience Institute, the Burke Institute of Theoretical Physics, and the Institute for Quantum Information and Matter. Our session chairs uh, today did a great job. We had a hardworking organizing committee, Fiona Harrison, Spiros Michalakis, and Mark Wise, the public events and uh, production staff uh, here are terrific. Uh, Margaret Sanchez uh, designed our cool logo and the programs. Uh, Seamus Blackley was uh, the lead in creating that Feynman animation that we uh, closed the show with, and uh, we um, had staff who really went beyond uh, the call of duty, especially uh, Jennifer Ibrahim, uh, Olga Badigan, and uh, particularly uh, Marsha Wise, or Marsha Brown, so let's thank all of them. So uh, it turns out we're on Earth, unfortunately, so Feynman's birthday only comes around every 365 days, uh, not every 10 days. Uh, so we won't be doing this again. We're going to have to put the bongos away. These are really Feynman's bongos, by the way. But uh, I think many of us in the room have been inspired by Richard Feynman's accomplishments, uh, his imagination, his unsurpassed skills as a communicator, and uh, we can be confident that many uh, students and scientists will continue to be inspired by his legacy. And finally, the most important people to thank are uh, you, the audience. Uh, thanks for coming, and uh, I hope you learned a lot. Uh, there's a lot that we still don't know, but as Richard say, uh, said, uh, let's find out. So thanks for coming. <laughs>